Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ken, and Facebook changed its interface again. So I, I think I just came out with a video about how to spy on other people's ads, like less than two months ago, and Facebook have changed its platform interface altogether. Again, I'm not so sure whether it is a global change or it's just for my change because they try, tend to tend to test differently based on different regions, different people, so they will test whether this interface or not. For me, personally, I don't really like the new interface right now, and it's making, it's making it harder for normal people to find the ads that they can use to copy and to use it. So, uh, but I do see the, the this picture is, I mean, the, the this sample is being shown around in Facebook already. So that means that I think most of really this layout has been, re has been rolled out to a lot of people. And I'm gonna show two the the two methods um how to spy on Facebook, but it's it is not two methods, it's just you still using Facebook to spy on different ads, different people's ad, but it's just using one using desktop and one using mobile. And the mobile last time is very simple, laptop sometimes is very easy, very simple. If you to watch my video at, at the description box below, uh, that is my the link to my previous video about how to spy on Facebook ads spy on other people's Facebook ads but currently now they have changed so we have no choice but to follow accordingly as well and this video we're going to show you I'm going to show you how you're going to find other people's ad both in both in the mobile and both in both in mobile and both in desktop so let's jump right into it okay so let's just start with the what, the Facebook page first so as you can look see here it is uh, link in Facebook page in Facebook anyway last time when you were to want to spy and to see what kind of ads that they run you can see an eye button somewhere here there'll be a one eye button when you click on it you can see all the ads that's being run and just recently I think past few days ago I've noticed that the eye button is gone and I have no idea where to find the ads because it is actually I think it was implemented that the policy is required for Facebook to show the ads that all the page, pages are running and without the eye so where can can we check uh, does it mean that we can only see the ads in in desktop mode but no I managed to found another way where you can find it so it's not any of these notes so you just keep scrolling down you will see this site called page transparency they have many things written here now. It, it, I think it's a bit complicated compared to last time where you just click on the I and then you'll go there. And I'm not sure whether this has been rolled out to everyone as well because YouTube like I mean Facebook like to split test their their interface with different people, different group of people. And the, what I see may be different from what you see. However, if you notice that the I button is gone, then that means you are looking into this kind of layout already. And then there's page transparency, and then this is it, is, it became a very very long page which I don't really like it I'll prefer it to be just one button click and go there but what to do I think they want to protect the company in a way so let's just go down you click on the page transparency click see all and you'll see this page which is last time when you click on the i button you get to see this anyway okay and then last time they have a there's a button between the about page about and also the, the active ads so now you cannot see it, you can immediately just go to ads from this page. Scroll all the way down and go to view in ad library. And there. From here you can see the ads. So there's uh, results, 58 results, 58 ads running. And then they get to see um, different region, what kind of ads are running. As usual, location basis, find the location. I, which is just a very simple about about the page which I don't, know, don't, don't really feel there's a reason why but here you can see the ads we are given you the ability to supercharge a company then you click on here you go to the you click on here you go to LinkedIn here as well you can see it's a carousel ad You see, this ad is done pretty well. 
I mean, it, it the, the color is very beautiful, and each each picture have different different content. Shot well as well. This is a video ad. Same as here, also very beautifully done. Also carousel ad. This design is really nice. <laughs> Frankly, that is very very nice. Yeah, and then you click when you go to one of the ads. See, there's so many ads that they run. Just on Malaysia alone, 58 over ads. This is what happens when you have a lot of budget. And then you go to CI details. There, you just expand the ad to something else. It's nothing much. If you see a video ad, usually they have a short copy. And this is another small info of the LinkedIn ads. Which again, I have no idea why. If I'm here already, I would definitely know why it's LinkedIn already because you already show me the about us page. They only show me the ad details. So again, I find there's a redundancy redundancy there. I'm not sure why are they doing this, but they have this one one nice place about, about ads and data use. But the, the thing is, we don't know. We want to know what they use to target us. Maybe you'll be in desktop mode, but currently they only show very general stuff. What data is being used? This is what. This is all Facebook policies. Your controls. What you see is particularly a particular ad. That is if for layman want to know more. But for me to want to spy on it, I would prefer to know. I would prefer to know what kind of targeting that they, they target me. But it's not shown here, it cannot be shown here. So I'm not sure maybe they're gonna add into this feature the next time, but yep. Currently, they are making it a bit more difficult to look at ads from each pages. It took me a while to, to figure it out as well because people, I see people sharing this, but I'm not very sure where does this this come from. But now I know I managed to find it myself. And here I am sharing it to you all. Hi, we just done with the mobile version. So now this is the desktop version. At first, when I see the changes in mobile, I didn't expect the desktop to change as well, but apparently it's also changed. It's still the same. You, see a, you still see a banner, the, the photo and information and story and things like that. However, that last time here got another portion called Info and Ads, but they already removed it. So I know I'm in the complaining territory right now because I find it very difficult <laughs> compared to last time where you can just easily click on here and go to Ads. Same as phone, when you just click on the i button, you can, so you can see the ads. But now things have changed, so I have no idea. Oh well, we have to move on with life. So now when you go down, same thing as well. All this information is still the same thing. Our story, community, about, and there you go. You see page transparency again. So you just go to see more. And then you see all the summary again. Summary, page history, people who manage this page, etc, etc. I don't think, not that, not that it is really that important for you to know all this. But at least you know there's 93 people handling it in LinkedIn. So, that's done in Malaysia. Maybe there's a chance for me. Okay, anyway, just go to Summary. I see the space history, people, and again, view in ad library. There's a video that I did for ad library, and I think now they are migrating all the ads into the ad library to make it one, one stop, one place where you can view all Facebook ads. And maybe that's why this transition comes in, why this interface comes in, is to suit, of, suit this ad library. But again, I think it's a not really good decision <laughs> in terms of UI, UX, in terms of accessibility, but so you just view in ad library. And there. This is a similar link that I've shown you previously. You can view on the description box below. And there. You yes, see the list of ads that is running currently. There's many. If, if you want to know why they have so many same ads, it is because they are running different assets. Just an example, just a, just an info that you may not need to know. But yeah. So this proves that even LinkedIn are always testing. They are testing new creative. I love these creatives as I mentioned in the mobile version. 
CD has been running the same ads over and over and over again. Yeah. So it's roughly you can see that is they have new ads that come out every month. Yeah, which means their ads, their marketing team are very busy. I love to have those run evergreen ads. However, if you have big budget like this LinkedIn, evergreen ads are quite good for SMEs because they don't have to keep changing, keep worrying about things. But um, I think for, for big budget plays, for things that you want people to keep remembering your brand, brand awareness, or to know your brand better, then yes, you have to keep coming up with new content. And this is actually a, a big boy kind of play, a big, big players kind of play. If you're SMEs or startup, I would not suggest you to do so often so many ads because you can uh, run down your cost very fast. However, I do I do admit that you should do, do multiple ad set to test. So as you can see, these two exactly same learn how navigator, learn how navigator is both both similar ads. Similar ad copy, I think both of them go to the same place, which is go to business stock link in. And, and they are testing just different, maybe different interests, different targeting to see which one will perform better. This is all part of optimization. You can see ad details, same thing as the phone, it's not, not much information as well, not that say it's very important. If you can see directly what interests they're targeting, that will be even more powerful. However, this is the route that they take. I'm not sure whether they're gonna put in more information here because let's just let's just look at the difference between this page and this page. Is there any difference other than just being bigger? It's the same thing. The page information are all here anyways. Right? If I click on here, it's the same thing. No, so I'm I'm not sure <laughs> what's the reason why. Maybe the, the reason is probably when you click on this ad, you can just get the link and send it to other people. Instead of sending the link of a whole thing, you send specific Add to other people. That's the only benefit I see what they're doing. Yep, that's it. So I've shown the the new interface for Facebook to look at people's ad in mobile and in desktop. Hopefully this helps. And it is not as simple as last time as I mentioned. So you won't be able to easily click on I or just check info and ads. So you can see other people's ad. I'm not sure why they do this change. For me, I think it's it's actually tougher for people to look at other people's ad. But I don't know. Maybe they just find that it is not many, not many people keep clicking on it except for marketers. So they just think it's not important, not important, and they put it as transparency instead. Sorry. So I'm not so sure. Uh, but I still hope that this video helped you. At least you you know where to find if you want to find other people's ad. And if you like what I share, do like my video and subscribe to my channel to support me and also so that I can produce good content for you. Keep producing good content for you. So like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.